consider we have a rotating bar and let's put the pivot at one end of the bar we put one damper at the middle and one more damper at the other end of the bar each with damping constant C1 and damping constant C2 assuming the bar rotates with small angle theta we can denote the damper C1 to have displacement x1 and damper C2 to have displacement x2 if the total length of the bar is L then the length of the damper C1 from the pivot is L over 2 and the length of the damper C2 at the end of the bar is L what is the displacement of damper C1 in terms of theta? if we draw it here uh, this is damper C1 the location from the center of rotations or the pivot is L over 2 so what is the displacement x1 when the angle of rotation is theta? remember the concept of linearization as long as the angle of rotation is small then x1 equals to L over 2 multiplied by theta similarly for displacement of the damper C2 which is x2 we can write down x2 equals to L multiplied by theta and what is the equivalent damping constants of the system so the questions asked for this problem what are the works done by the damper C1 and the damper C2 and what is the equivalent damping constants of the system when we are talking about the equivalent damping constant we talk about the equivalent damping constants of the whole system so we should come up with only one value at the end and for the equivalent damping constant we have to determine what is the generalized coordinate we want to use for the system to obtain the equivalent damping we need to first calculate the work done by damping written as w equals to minus integral ceq x dot dx dot where x dot is dx over dt which is the velocity of the damper now let's say if the generalized coordinate is x1 then first we need to write down the work done by each damper for damper c1 the work done is minus integral c1 x1 dot dx1 dot the generalized coordinate is x1 and this is already in x1 so we don't have to do anything with this equation and for damper c2 the work done is equals to minus integral c2 x2 dot dx2 dot because the generalized coordinate is x1 so we have to replace this x2 with x1 so what is the relation between x1 and x2 we have known already that x1 is L over 2 multiplied by theta and x2 is L multiplied by theta if we divide x1 over x2 so we can cancel out L and theta so we have the relations where x2 equals to 2x1 we can then substitute x2 into the second equations and we have c2 multiplied by 2x1 dot d 2x1 dot the constants 2 here can be moved to the left hand side so we have minus integral for c2 x1 dot dx1 dot therefore the total works done by the damper is w1 plus w2 equals to minus integral c1 plus 4c2 x1 dot dx1 dot so the final equation is now equivalent to the general equations where now we have x1 as the generalized coordinate does anything inside the bracket here is the equivalent damping constants of the system